It's a story the problem solvers have been reporting on for months. The desperate need for more bus drivers and cafeteria workers in schools. And RICO school leaders have been trying to fill as many of those spots as they can, even holding a job fair today. Our Brendan King was there and found out why getting people to take these jobs can be so difficult. Brendan? Yeah, absolutely, Bill. Right now, about 30 applicants are in different phases of trainings to earn their CDL, their commercial driver's license, in order, in order to work for Henrico Schools. But I'm told that it could take weeks and weeks for them to get, even get behind the wheel. Such a shortage. Supply and demand. Mandela Sutton holds the key to earning a commercial driver's license. I heard about the job fair, so I thought I'd come over here and sign up. Maybe get my CDL, start driving. At Henrico School's job fair at the Eastern Henrico Rec Center Tuesday, Sutton applied for one of dozens of open bus driver positions during a nationwide driver shortage. Just about anything that ends in driver, uh, they have a shortage. Henrico School's Director of Pupil Transportation, Jim Ellis, says he could use at least 100 bus drivers. We certainly would love for them to be able to relax and, and do their own route as opposed to their route and, and another route and, and maybe another route. Um, so, you know, we know that they are being worked tirelessly and they are giving every effort that they can uh, to make it work. A month since classes first started, Ellis competes for the same workforce as the area's other school systems, not including the private sector like Amazon, the GRTC and truck drivers. We are not giving up on anybody that's coming through the door. But Ellis can only hire the most qualified for the job. You're looking at, you know, background check. We've got to do uh, uh, a medical is, is not an easy one to get through. You know, you, we do need you in good medical shape and and those those things certainly uh, our hindrances. We look at your driving record hard. We, you know, you're out uh, working on the most precious cargo. So you, that driving record does take effect on, on exactly will you get hired or will you not. A $1,000 bonus for new hires without their CDL helped get Sutton in the door. But he admits the competition is fierce. I feel like I'm doing my little part to make things a little better for the kids. And get this, the shortages don't stop at school buses. School leaders tell me they could use at least another 100 cafeteria workers.